Well, good day, boys and girls. Did you miss me? I know you did. Hey, today we're going over the watt cycle 12.8 8 amp hour battery that I, uh, you know, won in a con, you know, I signed up and I won it off of the good folks at our Mountain Homestead. Jen and Wiley. He also has a second ch channel working with Wiley. I highly recommend you go watch these people. They're starting out from scratch. They got old buses without engines, campers, and they bought a place out in Arkansas, and they're starting to get their lives started out there. And they're getting into solar too. So go watch those guys. Highly recommend, and, and subscribe. Let's get back to this battery. I got this one, and I was... I'm glad I won the smaller one. They were giving out three, four batteries. I got the smallest of the four. But I have tons of crap laying around here in these buckets here. And I kind of wanted a small one. And later on in the video, I'll show you why I wanted the small one, what I'm going to use it for. But uh, with all this crap that I got laying around, I was gonna. what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this right here it's just wide enough to go around these things i'm gonna listen i got some thicker wood that's gonna go on the sides the two sides you know coming down both sides are gonna be thicker wood so i can put screws in it and it'll be but i don't want it to be too heavy so i got some quarter quarter inch plywood right here for the top and the bottom and it's going to be a fun little project to build I don't know, do you want me to show you me cutting all the wood and screwing it together? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the wood. I'm gonna put this together. I'm gonna show you things that I'm using that I already have to, that I'll be able to charge this sucker with. Uh, just laying around, all the stuff that I already have laying around. And uh, yeah, you're gonna be surprised what I'm gonna use it for. Not too many people would use it for what I'm gonna use it for and uh, the benefits of having it. So I'm gonna start making it. I'll get back with you knuckleheads here in just a little bit. Relax, boys and girls. I got this under control. Oh my gosh, look at that. Made from the finest mahogany. Everything done to detail, just perfect. Yeah, no, that's not how I roll. I just make things functional around here. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to work. That's it. And uh, again, I know you guys are getting excited what I'm making it for. But let's get the wiring. I'm going to wire the negatives to the negative stuff up here and the positive to the positive. I'm going to have a turn on switch. It's going to turn on this voltmeter and the electronics. Uh, not the cigarette lighter plug. And I'll, I'll show you why in a second. Why? But the switch is going to turn on the voltmeter and my USB ports. But the cigarette lighter plug is gonna remain on all the time. Let me get this wired up, and I know you're excited to see what I'm gonna use it for, so let me get this wired up now. I don't wanna bore you doing that either, and then I'll get back to you to show you what I'm using it for. And again, what, what cycle? Thank you so much for the battery. I'm so stoked. I'm, I'm so happy that I won that. And uh, our mountain home, I said our mountain homestead earlier. It's our mountain home and working with Wiley. Go check them out. Let's stop talking. I'm going to start getting to soldering this up. And then I'll show you how I'm going to charge it, what I'm going to use it for. It's going to be awesome. Alrighty, knuckleheads, stand by. Alrighty. She's wired up. See, we got 13.5. That battery's topped off pretty good. I, I charged it the other day. It's sitting at 13.5. Got the USB plugs. Now, see, I can turn that off. This cigarette lighter plug. This cigarette light, lighter plug is always hot. Because it's not draw, It's open circuit anyways. So it's always hot. But if I want to see what the voltage is, I just go like that. It'll tell me what the voltage is. Or if I have to charge up some phones. But for the most part, I can have that off 
and just use the, the uh, cigarette lighter plug. Let's get out. I'm going to solder up one more thing so I can charge this battery up. Uh, I'm actually going to charge it through the uh, cigarette lighter plug. See, that's what I was thinking there. I'm going to wire that, uh, solder that up. Then we'll go outside. I'll show you how I charge it. Then what I'm going to use it for. I'm so excited, boys and girls. All right, I'm outside here. I got 125 watt. Oh my gosh, it's hard. To, this 125 watt Harbor Freight panel. Got my box here. Got the cigarette lighter plug with the XT60 coming into the battery of this. And if you can see here, we've got 13.3. Uh, three and a, let's see what it says on the front of this. 13.5. So this is off just a smidge, but it gets the higher voltage whenever it gets to like 13.7, they match up. We'll see about that in a second. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in that 25. Why only a 25 watt panel? Let me get down here. Why a 2500 watt panel? 2500 watt. 25 watt panel. Why a 25 watt panel? Well, I don't want to hit too many amps because I'm charging this sucker up. You can see it says 0.3 because it's already kind of getting to the top. It's already getting to the top of that. Uh, I've already charged it up. But at the highest, it was getting 0.9. It was under 1 amp. And that's you don't want to hit this with more than like 2 amps. So I'm hitting it with 1 amp. And it's already reading 13.6. See, it's almost... And I have this to shut off at 13.7. So whenever this gets up to 13.7, it's going to shut off charging all, all together. See, it's up to 0.6 right now. See, I'm charging at 0.6. And look, it's already 13.7. The battery was already charged whenever I, I charged it last night. But let me go ahead and disconnect the solar. Yeah, that's how I'm going to charge the thing with... Uh, See, it says 13.7. So this said 13.7. This says 13.7. It's pretty darn accurate. You know, both meters are pr pretty much right on. All right. Now comes the what and why. Just before that, uh, you know, the 25 divided by 13 gives you 1.29 amps. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, unfortunately, my third grade friend that does all my math for me, isn't available on the phone today, so I broke out the calculator. So uh, that's what I'm doing to figure out amps. It's like two amps, but uh, 15 watts is probably all. Oh my gosh, 15 divided uh, divided by uh, 13. Yeah, I'm usually going to be about 1.1 amps charging charging it with that panel it's only getting about 15 watts I, i've messed around i know okay now instead of messing around with propane bottles and my buddy heaters and all that crap let's say you're in a tent and first off we'll start cold that's why i got a sweatshirt it's almost winter time i need to prepare i bought this 12 volt electric blanket we're going to go ahead and stick it in here. And it has, turn it on. And then it has a timer. So I can set it to 60 minutes. And then uh, the temperature. Well, this sucker only takes 15 watts on the low setting. And on the low setting, you're gonna say, well, that little eight amp hour battery, how long is it gonna last? So let's do the math again real quick, okay? Let's take, uh, say the battery usually runs at 12.8. So I'm gonna go 12.8, okay. 8 amps. So we're going to times it by 8 amps equals 102 
0.4 watt hours. So eight amp hour times the voltage of the battery. It's going to give me 102 watt hours of runtime. Now the electric blanket, it takes 15 amps. So I'm going to divide 102 by 15 and it's going to run for 6.8 6.8 hours that's if i ran it all night long that's a whole night's sleep right there i sleep six seven hours whenever i'm camping i don't sleep too long whenever i'm camping but yes it's warming up already and it has a timer so oh i want to see what how's the battery holding out oh i got 13.4 volts it's flickering between 13.2 and 13.4 but uh tells me how much voltage is left in the battery see I can turn that off but this doesn't turn off this plug is always hot and yeah yeah don't mess with propane people I guarantee you this blanket on low inside a sleeping bag will roast you pretty good even whenever it's really cold outside it's it's just gonna take the, the edge up, off the night so I'll probably set it for 60 minutes, fall asleep. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, feel a little cool, well, heck, I'll hit it back to 60 minutes again. And I can do that uh, almost seven times, you know, throughout the whole night. Heck, if I'm really cold, heck, I'll hit it on uh, the high, which is about 35 watts. And I'll run it, you know, an hour on that. Now, okay, let's do the math here. Well, I wish I had my third grade friend around. Let's go 100. What did I say? 12.8 times. All right, 12.8 times uh, the 8 amp hours. 8 equals 102.4. And I'm going to divide that by 35 equals. It didn't do it. 12.8 times 8 equals 102.4 divided by 35 I can run three hours I can in the middle of the night on very on the hot setting I could run that blanket for three hours with this little with this little tiny sucker but uh yeah trust me from experience actually it's in the 20s and you're in a good sleeping bag with that sucker in it i'm telling you what you're going to be running it at the low setting or you're going to be sweating to death let's say it's hot out and you're in a tent you know let's go ahead and grab the fan Turn that sucker on. I guarantee you that's only drawing like one amp. On low, it's drawing less than one amp. So if we had eight amp hours at one amp, I mean, that's going to be eight hours. You know, so I can run that fan for eight hours over the night. On low, I could run it way more. For some reason, I'm thinking that it's less than that. I think I could get more than eight hours out of that fan on this small battery. I need to talk to a third grader a little bit more and get, you know, counseling and advice on, on what actually this is all going to do. But I think I'm pretty close. One conclusion, yeah, it's nice. I can turn it on. I can see what... How many volts are left in the battery? This is always on, but I, I'm staying hot, people. I'm, you know, I'm no, I'm staying hot. I'm staying warm in the winter time with the blanket. I'm staying cool, it's, and I, I could be in a tent and just slap this in the tent, and this is gonna make it all night long, 
and it'll charge my phones also. I can charge my phones with it. I can run USB lighting off of it if I wanted to also, or, uh, you know, charge a USB light during the day, plug it in, charge it with solar, and I'm just, I'm just loving it. I'm digging it. It was all free. Thanks, Our Mountain Home. Thanks, working with Wiley. Thank you, uh, Watt Cycle, for uh, letting them give away some batteries. And yeah, look, if you look at the reviews, the Watt Cycle people are tearing them up, you know, looking inside. They're built well. They are what they say they are. They last, if they're eight amp hours or eight amp hours long, 100 amp hour battery, it's 100 amp hour. People have already tested them out. I'm not gonna waste your time doing that. There's people with test equipment and everything that rip these batteries apart. Go do a little research and you'll find out that Watt Cycle is a quality battery for a great price. I mean, really good. So yeah, knuckleheads, uh, boys and girls, you have a good day. I'm gonna get this video edited up and out to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. Go check out some of my other channels on uh, my other builds. I got big builds. I've got a solar chuck wagon. I go over products like the Kia uh, panels and uh, other batteries also and other equipment but yeah go check out some of my other videos and thanks for stopping by